share with you how I do my no line watercoloring. I'm going to position this beautiful flower from the kit of the month for your dreams by Unity Stamp Company on my Misty. And then I'm going to ink it up with Tim Holtz Distress Ink Antique Linen. I'm doing all of this on watercolor paper because this is going to be watercolor. Laying down my color at the base of the petal first and then dragging it up to the middle of the petals. Not going all the way to the top. I'm doing one petal at a time and then I'm going to dab off some of the water on a paper towel and go back to the first petal and drag up the color towards the top. Doing it this way allows you to leave the darkest color at the base of the petal and it is shading itself. This part can be very tedious, but it is well worth it in the end. I'm going to let you watch me color and listen to the music. I'll be back. Going in with my green and I'm getting my stems. part of my flower, I'm using a dark brown and putting the color at the very base of it and dragging the color towards the top. I repeat this process a couple times to get to the desired brown that I'm looking for, making sure that it's dry between each process. There it is. Not bad, right? I'm going to use an acrylic block and I'm going to put on some vintage distress ink and then some antique linen on the other side. I'm going to be applying a wash. 
In other words, I'm going to go in with my antique linen and I'm going to spread it around the whole white part of my card and then going in with the Distress Ink Vintage Photo and applying some shading. Thanks for watching. Bye.